morning i'm gonna show you how i organize my fragrance collection at the moment the main collection is organized by brand but uh, i'm gonna change as soon i'm gonna do it by olfactive family i just want to try to do that as i never did it see if i like it or not uh, today i'm going to show you uh, my organization change in the other shelf that is in front of me the backstage shelf the sample collection how organize it if it can help you or motivate you to uh, organize your collection and stuff like that uh, some things that for me are life-changing and make me feel a bit more peaceful uh, when it's organized it's peaceful also i'm not the most organized person in the world i like to live in an organized mess <laughs> my mess so i'm not pretending i'm the most organized person in the world definitely not but here is the shelf uh, this is again a part of my collection that i don't really show because it's a bit messy <laughs> The top floor, uh, uh, my minis of uh, vintage. I do have more vintage fragrances, but I just put the minis here because I think they're cute. The original vetiver in here, which is super cute. Magic Tonka. Those bottles are just the cutest thing. I won't spray myself because you know those fragrances are dated, but I love to smell it. I'm part of the fragrance people that think that fragrance age uh, like good wine sometimes. This one is from Potter and Moore and it's pure essence of lavender it's very old bottle lenteric tweed that was a classic i've got some very old bottle of ysl uh, paris was that the s thank you <laughs> emily in paris i hate this show i know everyone loves the show but i think a lot of french people really dislike the show because it doesn't show any single second whatsoever what it is the Parisian life like it's it's an Instagram filter Parisian life this this series anyway other subject uh, here are mainly some body lotion lotion oil air perfume that I use for my layering video because I love to do a bit of layering and I show that on TikTok I have some oil perfume oil as well a lot from Saint-Saline because these are my favorite. Some Posset perfume that are very great one as well. I'm going to receive some new ones. I'm quite excited. Uh, Arige fragrances, very affordable oil and amazing. Valina, vanilla orchid, ladies or oh men, gorgeous. And here are travel sizes. Some stuff that I all received from Discovery Kate or uh, I did buy them because uh, I don't want to buy a full bottle. <laughs> you know, like I cannot buy a full bottle of everything I'm reviewing. Like, you know, like I had one comment, but it was just one comment, but still upsetting. Like of someone being like, oh, you comment your fragrance that you don't have the bottle of. Well, listen, like I'm, I review a lot of perfume. Uh, I'm not going to buy them all. I'm not a multimillionaire. Far from that. I cannot do that. So I like to buy uh, samples, try that over my skin for a long time. So there's a lot of Parfum de Marly, you have lots of florists, Parenthems, Hughes, a lot, BDK, uh, Jo Malone, Louis V. Uh, for example, Louis V is a good example. Uh, I love to try it, but I still don't feel that I want to buy a full bottle. I haven't had a complete love at first sight. Buy or love that I really like. I have one. Uh, a lot of matières premières, Frédéric Mal, uh, and you have a little bit of a lot of uh, spray, so I refill them with what I like as well, from sample or small size, so I can try it during the day. Some minis or designer, I don't know where to put them, so I'll put them here. And here, uh, some fragrance sample here. This one is full of commodity samples. So some um, Felton and Rook solid fragrances. I love those ones, they're very classy. And again, like I always have something like that in my backpack. And this is where I started to be uh, the, the, the big change that I've done. Uh, not all of them are here, but like the one that I can really categorize is for me summer, winter, no, no. It's not such a thing as summer, winter, full fragrance. You can wear any fragrance anytime, but there's some fragrance that I feel are warmer, for example. So if I put one sample in the winter category, I found this fragrance much more warmer. So it's going to be nice during winter, especially. So that's where I, I put it. So there's the winter here. In here is some sachet that I kept, for example. Uh, this is where I put all my Killians. This is the unknown sample box. <laughs> 
uh, basically everything that I don't know what it is and I need to search what fra fragrance sample it is because that happened is here some century uh, fragrance I've got some Jovoy here that I put here uh, this is the box for designer fragrance full fragrance so it's mainly like a earthy note maybe powdery like iris that have a little bit of that ground note I would put them here uh, summer is basically all freshies, citruses or uh, tropical mood is going to be here. Uh, spring is going to be like a lot of flower blossoming. So it doesn't mean that it's fragrance that you need to wear for spring. It's more the idea, like obviously spring is flower blossoming, a uh, little bit more uh, romantic vibe. It's going to be in here. Um, and then you have the wish list that I started to do like just recently. So some fragrance I have on my wish list, so I can tell you some. Let's see. Uh, BDK Gris Charnel. So I do have a travel size of Gris Charnel, but I would like a full bottle. Uh, Sunny Side Up by Juliette as a girl. Molten Brown, Wood Accord and Gold. This is a fragrance I nearly purchased actually years ago. And instead, do you know what I purchased? I purchased this. Santal Carmin by Atelier Cologne, which is a, a saffron fragrance that I really love, but the longevity is really poor. Um, so I kind of regret my choice now. I would have go to Molten Brown, to be honest. They have really great fragrance, and this is a fragrance that is lasting forever. More samples. You have like samples that are put in by brands and uh, that I have a lot of samples from. So there's a lot of Mila Harris. Uh, you've got a lot of Bo Boko as well. Uh, Electimus as well, some Victoria's Secret. Uh, I do have some smaller version of uh, Plume Impression. It's like the fragrance I keep in their box because I just find it so cute. You have a lot of Le Jardin Retrouvé. There's a lot of Affinescence, uh, Memo. It's a full bottle of uh, Mulberry Fig that I need to open. But I already have a bottle of Mulberry Fig. Uh, the event by Floris and they gifted us a bottle uh, to me and my best friend. So I've got two bottles and actually three because I also have a travel spray, a powdery iris-like cardamom fig. It's medium long-lasting, medium projection. It's really something that is there to be elegant. Uh, raw ingredients. Um, you have the kits from Bon Parfumeur. They are really nice to train your nose as well as discovering the fragrances. And this is my olfactorium. Yeah, oh, but there's one missing. Which one? Birchwood oil. Always makes me feel a little bit emotional when I see it and when I uh, train with it. I'm going to train my boyfriend with this one. I'm quite excited uh, because he wants to as well. So, you know, why not? So I got my fragrance expert certification with it. My certification is like basically different from my diploma. I had a diploma in cosmetology, perfumery and luxury business. So, uh, but this was when I arrived to London. I've passed a fragrance certification with Chanel. Um, and so Chanel gave me that olfactorium to train, basically. Uh, so there's a, the, a lot of different raw ingredients, like from different country as well, jasmine from grass, jasmine from um, Turkey. And when I pass my diploma, basically, they would give me some test strip and be like, OK, what is an ingredient? And I would tell them. So um, I spent weeks and weeks training on this. So basically every day I would a blind test myself being like okay which ingredient is that which ingredient is that which is something that really elevates my nose <laughs> so now when i smell fragrances it's like i can pick up ingredient i can tell because uh, the key to do that and to actually describe better uh, fragrances i think is to know exactly what is going to smell like what idea is going to bring each ingredient that will definitely Put you to the next step it, this this is something that is not sold you have some olfactorium available it's usually very expensive but you have like mini ones as well that i've spotted um it, it comes and go on the the side so you have to look by yourself fragrance organ olfactorium these are some refills basically uh vintage bottle here this is basically discovery set there's again some sample by, by brand that are out of their discovery set so I put the discovery set that I want to keep, uh, uh, keep. Otherwise, uh, I don't keep all my discovery sets. Carven one, I think Carnel one is really nice. So I keep down this heater. It's most of the time hot. 
so it doesn't boil up the frame, you see? Uh, also the room where I'm in, well, when I film video, I open the curtains, but when I don't film, it's closed. It's closed all the time, um, so there's no actual light in there, there's no actual heat in there, uh, only when I'm filming, so just to um, keep my fragrance alive, I'd say, as much as I can do, because a lot of people say, oh, um, if you do that, you know, like, uh, your fragrance, they, they're not going to last long, you collect so many fragrances, but they're gonna, all going to be off. That's not true. <laughs> like, you can keep fragrances for years if you conserve them nicely. And sometimes, yes, they will age, but sometimes it's for the best. Not always, but sometimes it is. So for me, I don't look at them. I just get what I want and that's it. And I don't hurt anyone, so leave me alone. <laughs> Um, this is where I put my olfactory uh, touch because you need to test century fragrance. So I've got a lot from different brands. Uh, oh, look at this little Kayali. It's so cute. Uh, Roja, so cute. Um, I've got some pipette as well. So the pipette, I use them with the raw ingredients or uh, when I have like some special things to do uh, with some samples and stuff like that. Some ceramic as well, I do have in there. So ceramic holds the fragrance a lot. So uh, you can use a nice ceramic to spray your fragrance on. It will stay ages. And usually uh, that makes the fragrance a little bit more blossoming than on just a tester strip. So it's nice. Uh, where is this? Oh, the big diptych. And diptych, they, they know this stuff. It's very cute. In here is where I keep the PR that are nice. So PR, it's press release. Some PR that I find that are worth keeping. Like for example, the, the like the Jovoy uh, Olfactory notes like this, really nice. Uh, some Hermetica, Jeroboam. Because some of the books are actually good to understand the philosophy of the brand and tell you everything about each fragrance. So I like to keep them. Um, I don't keep all, I just keep some. Put my sachet here uh, because sometimes it's very, <laughs> very occasional. I would sell uh, some fragrance that I don't use anymore, but it's been very occasional and from brand that I know I won't review anymore. So for example, I work for a company, not talking about Chanel, uh, during some month and uh, they had fragrances. Because of the way they treated their employee, I decided to sell all my fragrances from them. So I still have some, but uh, in the long run, I'm gonna sell them all. So if I sell a fragrance, Usually, or I will do it quickly on eBay. I also did it on Facebook uh, directly uh, with some of my community. Somebody would take a fragrance from me. I would put some sample in a sachet so they could try something similar. So I would sell like something a little bit in that vibe, you know. <laughs> and some ribbons, uh, just ribbons I really like to keep in here because I love gift wrapping. Uh, I showed you a little bit the mess. I still have quite a box of samples that I need to organize uh, that I showed on Instagram. Uh, well, it's still organized, but... We're done for today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, like the video. It's super helpful and I will see you soon. Bye now. Je t'emmène dans mon paradis bleu